a long time ago I was uh, convicted about talking about this subject because um, because I, I work in, a, in an area where we we see the results of uh, this is about fiber and we see the results of not enough fiber in people's diets every day in the surgery department and um, over the last few weeks I've had some issues of my own proving that I'm not getting enough fiber and it was kind of a a nudge from the Lord to, to tell Diana, you know what, I think I'm ready to talk about this. Um, most of you know about fiber, you know that it's, you know, that it's uh, present in all plant foods in varying amounts. There's soluble, there's insoluble fiber, and the, the soluble means it partially dissolves in water, and that's things like peas and beans, lentils, um, uh, apples, pears, strawberries, you know, and there, there are more. And then it is associated with lowering your LDL or the, um, the bad or the <coughs> bad cholesterol, excuse me, and regulating blood sugar. And it helps uh, work towards a lower uh, lower risk of heart disease and type two diabetes. Insoluble fiber or roughage, as Grandma used to call it, <laughs> is found in whole grains, couscous, brown rice, bulgur, wheat bran, nuts, seeds several vegetables, cucumbers, carrots, zucchini, uh, and some fruits, raisins and grapes and nuts. It keeps you regular, it prevents constipation, and reduces the risk of diverticular disease. Hmm. And so you might all be sitting there going, I know all this, so why are you telling me this? Well, uh, the statistics show that currently it's estimated just this year, in the year of 2014, 96,830 new cases of colon cancer will be diagnosed. About 40,000 cases of rectal cancer just within this year. About 50,310 deaths from colorectal cancer. And according to the CDC or the uh, Center for Disease Control and Prevention of cancers affecting both men and women, Colorectal cancer is the second leading cancer killer in the United States. So it is prevalent. I live in a cul-de-sac of six homes. Out of those six homes, four people, young people in their 40s, have had colon cancer. Mm. In our cul-de-sac, I started to wonder if it's our water, mm. what, what is going on? And, um, and then the fifth house, people were sick all the time and they finally moved and they just said we don't know why we're sick all the time and it was a, a older couple not elderly you know but um, but there's something wrong with this picture um, lifestyle factors that lend to this include um, lack of regular physical activity low fruit and vegetable intake a low fiber high fat diet including animal products being overweight obese alcohol consumption, tobacco use, and inadequate amount of water intake. Symptoms of an inadequate fiber in your diet, and you can be eating, you know, you can be eating all the so-called right things, but if you're not eating enough of them, uh, you can be you can be one of these people. Uh, one of the signs and symptoms is constipation. And when I was looking this up, I thought, oh, this is terrible. It said if you're having fewer than three bowel movements a week and the stools are hard and dry, uh, if they resemble Tootsie Rolls, you are constipated. <laughs> but let's hope you're having more than three bowel movements a week. Um, weight gain. Uh, fiber contributes to satiety. Who knows what satiety is? You're satisfied from your meal. Yeah, you're Feel satisfied. Full. Have you ever eaten a whole meal and left and you're not satisfied? You're full, but you're not satisfied. Fiber helps with the satiety. Uh, another sign of uh, inadequate fiber in the diet is blood sugar fluctuations, because fiber delays the absorption of sugar. And the fourth one is diet-related nausea and tiredness. How many of us know people that are just always tired? <laughs> yeah, and, and um, some people complain of nausea with no, you can't figure out why. So the reason this really uh, has been bothering me is because we see people every week in the clinic. We have seven surgeons where I work, and this is just one clinic. We see every, every week 
each doctor sees at least two or three people with painful bleeding hemorrhoids, rectal fissures or a tear in the rectum because the stool was too hard to come through. And the pain is excruciating. And um, we see newly diagnosed colon cancers every week, uh, newly diagnosed rectal cancers. And so I have a challenge for you. Um, there might be enough for everybody, if not, if you can pass those out. I have a fiber challenge for you. <clears throat> I'm really proud of the doctor that I work with because he's not into health, you know, the kind of health it maintenance type things that we are. But he had me start giving these to patients long, long time ago. And he calls it his rule of threes. So if you see where I have it, have it highlighted, uh, his rule of three is, is every third day, add three grams of fiber to your diet until your daily total is 30 grams a day. Now, if you really looked at your diet, if you go home and really look at it, many of you will be surprised. You'll think you're getting a lot of fiber, and you're maybe getting about 15 grams a day. We, we truly need about 30 grams. So, for instance, if you look at your list, what I tell my patients is, Okay, say you're going to start this on Monday. What I really recommend is start about a week of just writing down what you eat and adding up the fiber. Maybe you'll be really pleasantly surprised, but you might also just be surprised. Um, on Monday, say on a Monday, you're going to, whatever you're eating, you add an apple. That's 3.7 grams of fiber. Mm. So every day you have an apple along with your regular diet. Then come Thursday, you continue to have that apple in your diet, but you add a half a cup of broccoli, maybe put it in your salad. That's another 2.8 grams. And so uh, there you're totaling about 6.5 extra grams of fiber a day, or yeah, a day in your diet. Then three days later, which would be Sunday, you continue to eat the apple and the broccoli. Now you add a cup of blueberries, maybe put it in a smoothie or something like that. That's another 3.9. So total, in one week, you would add about 10.4 grams of fiber to your diet. You will notice a change already by then, depending on, you know, unless you're completely depleted of fiber, but you should notice a change. You notice a change in your skin. You notice a change in just your overall well-being. Um, and my favorite story is we had a little 94-year-old lady come to us, and of course we had to help her onto the table, and she had horrible bleeding hemorrhoids, just horrible. And uh, I, I, the other thing I love about the doctor I work for is he is not surgery happy. Mm. And the last thing he wants to do surgery on are hemorrhoids because the recovery is cruel. Yes. And so he will do anything he can to avoid it and especially had, you know, asking people to increase fiber in their diet. So she was 94, and he, he said, Linda, bring in the sheet. And so I brought in this little paper that you have, and he said, um, uh, now I'm going to have Linda explain this to you, and we're going to see how you do. And she said, I get enough fiber in my diet. I don't need anything different, you know. And, and she said, I'm not doing anything wrong. You know, it's always, it's never our fault, you know, that this is happening. And her husband was so precious. And he said, honey, I'll help you. I'll help you. And about three weeks later, she came back in and she was clean as a whistle. I mean, <laughs> she, had, she had no symptoms. And... That was like in three weeks, and I don't know what the man did to get her to eat, but he must have been very creative, because at 94 you don't eat a lot anyway, you know. And uh, so I know I know that it works, but one thing I'd love for you guys to do, just this little fiber, um, uh, oh, what do you want to call it, just a, uh, I can't remember the word I want to use for it, uh, but I just would like you to try this, take a look at it, for one week, write down your typical fiber intake, and then the next week, begin to add the amount of fiber to your diet that would total 30 grams. Yeah. And um, don't do it all at once, though. Uh, you will feel like the, you know, um, you'll feel like a balloon if you suddenly add all this fiber to your diet. It, it, that also is cruel. So just do three grams extra a day, every third day, 
and then keep adding like that. And then I would just love to hear your story. Thank you. Behind it, I added I this you because this is kind of fun. If you know, most of the cancers are coming because people are eating high fat, low fiber diets. And I w we won't go through this, but look at it yourself. The amount of calories in one eight ounce chocolate bar would allow you to eat 25 carrots. It's the same amount of calories. One five ounce chocolate bar, three pounds of apples. That's the calories. Um, a cheeseburger, 21 cups of popcorn, and you can read the rest. But a half a cup of peanuts, 600 cucumber slices. You know, so we can get, we can way get enough fiber in our diets. We just have to be a little creative. Thank you.